Hey guys, what's going on? I'm brought, or I'm joined by Justin over here. Howdy. And I have donated an Audi 27 block. This was one of the ones that I was going to build, but ended up not. So right now we have it crank side up and the cylinders are down here. So I think it's time, oh, sorry, it's in the shade. There you go. You can see it's all rusted. The motor was junk anyway. So it's time to retire it. What do you think it's gonna stop? Honestly, I feel like most of the rounds are gonna stop pretty quickly in there, especially if we're shooting towards the crank area. The 50, that's, it's like a 50-50 for me. I feel like it depends on where we hit. I feel like if we hit like towards the cylinder area, it's probably gonna go clean through those. But if we hit in the crank area, uh, it might stop. So yeah. I guess the only way to find out is shoot it. Well, so. you heard him. So let's go find out. We're gonna work our way up. We're gonna start with 556, green tip 556, 762 by 39. And then we're gonna do a 308 and jump over to the 50 cal. It's also gonna be Shannon's first time shooting a 50 cal. So let's find out what happens. Smith & Wesson. MMP 15. This is the normal 5.56 and probably 30 yards. See what it's got. Did you just hold the fuck on? Did you just say 30 yards? 30 yards. Motherfucker, that's 50 yards. 30 yards. Ready? All right, Let's so that was, the, that was the normal 5.56. Let's switch it over to the green tip and see what happens. All right, let's take a look. Oh, definitely hit. Definitely hit no. one on the crank there. The other ones. Oh, one's on the, oh, I hit the inside of the crank. Oh yeah. Oh wait, you're kind of the, oh, sorry. Oh wait, I'm the shadow. Oh, that's you. I'm the shadow. <laughs> so yeah, there's one on the dead inside of the crank, the wet paint. There's one right here. I don't Oops. think it's going to, we're not going to be able to tell this end cap is going to be in the way. And there's and it also in all honesty doesn't look like it went through no no it stopped you can see it stopped so the question so, is where the third one go i'm gonna just say i hit the same spot because i don't know i don't think you can tell you know what we should do and i definitely the missing is not a possibility so you know we should <laughs> spray paint all right so this is going to be the green tip 556 Let's see what happened. Yeah, it looked like it did a little more. All right, guys, here are the green tips. You can see it knocked the ring out. Um, let me get out of the... So we got one here. Uh, it looks like it stopped right there. You got one that went through. This is just an aluminum plate, so that's a lot weaker. And then the next one, you can actually see the penetrator tip is stuck right there. So it hit the crank, bent down, or it diverted to the side, and is stuck right in there. You can see the steel core penetrator tip. So that's pretty cool. Don't think we're gonna be able to spin this motor over, but looking on the inside, there is nothing going through that crank. That is still perfectly intact. All right guys, we are now gonna be shooting the CZ 527. This is 762 by 39. Let's see, I'm gonna try and hit the cylinder wall on this one and see how it does. You guys, bolt action. Let's go take a look. All right, guys, let's take a look. All right, so what, okay, so it, I think it hit right here and just pushed out the other part of this crank. And I'm not sure if I missed the other one, but I'm only seeing this one that looks new. So unless it hit in the same spot, again, or it just missed the second shot, so I'm not too sure, but it definitely, this cat or whatever this material is, is super strong. So I think the 50 is gonna be needed Gonna have to break out the 50. What gun is that? Springfield M1A. Alright guys. Coming over here, all right, you can see right here, both of them hit a little low, but right in the center there, and then just above it. So this one took a little, it probably hit here and then curved to the side. Let's see, let me try and, here. Uh, well, you're not really gonna be able to tell, 
but it did go into here. Oh, it skipped. It looks like it hit the oil sump. I don't know, but it's gonna be hard to tell. I'm just gonna lay this back down. Like so. There we go. All right, good enough. All right, 50 cal versus engine block. Shoot whenever you're ready. What do you think? Yeah. Do you like it? Did it hurt his? Sore. Did it hurt his? <laughs> did it hurt as bad as you thought? No. Yeah. See, it's not bad. <laughs> That's all the hiding. It's the jiggle angle. Are right, you ready? Melissa, you ready? You ready? Yep. I can't tell if I flinched on that one or if it was just a shockwave hit me. I flinched. <laughs> I, I, good. Yeah, good. Good. All right, you guys ready? Yep. yep. I think I have more gunpowder residue on me from that shot than any. I shot right here. Oh, I think it straight up totally stopped on the crank. <laughs> a crank stopped a 50? Yeah, look. Wait, hold on. Shane, can you move a second to the shadow? Or it diverted. Maybe it came out, did it come out the side? I think it, I think it stopped on literally the first layer of a crank. Try to push that side. You know, for being a gun designed to go straight through an engine block. That is just foam model jacket though. We're not using armor piercing. Well, I guess we know what we have to do next. Yeah, I have to get some fucking armor piercing. All right, guys, well, there you have it. Look at that right there, right in that. I'm surprised it had to have just gone and redirected because there's no way a 50 would do that little damage or, but I, this crank is incredibly strong steel. Yeah. Huh. All right, let me take a quick little video. All right, I just, let me do a quick outro. Shout out to Justin for letting us shoot the 50 on the beautiful property. Thank you for Shannon for recording, and also Alyssa for helping record. Yeah, so here's this. Until next, guys. Make sure you subscribe. I'm going to keep spinning around until the lighting looks good. See you guys next time.